regreso aquí en Auto 060 eh, y vamos a continuar con las entrevistas, con la información. Eh, esta semana se anunciaron los eh, semifinalistas al premio al auto y la camioneta del año 2014, auto y camioneta del año de Norteamérica 2014, que se entregan todos los años en el Auto Show de Detroit. Y bueno, de la lista original, que eran casi 30 vehículos por categoría, se ha pasado a una lista más reducida. Eh, de 12 cada uno, así que vamos a hablar un poco con uh, Carl Bauer, que es miembro del comité de jurados del de premio y también eh, representante de kellybluebook.com. Here with uh, Carl Bauer from the North American Car uh, uh, Truck of the Year Award Committee uh, and um, from Kelly Blue Book. Uh, we just uh, were together driving uh, the Kia Soul a couple of weeks ago in Minneapolis and uh, that car didn't make the list, but there are some other Kias in the list, right Carl? Yeah, they did have two Kias make the list. They had the Cadenza, which is their new kind of top-end, you know, premium vehicle. And then they also had the uh, um, Sorento, which has really always been a pretty strong player for them in kind of the mid-size SUV category. Yeah. So, uh, but the big the big winner, I guess, is uh, General Motors, which has the most uh, cars in, in both lists for car and, and truck of the year. Uh, I guess one of the strong candidates for the overall award uh Uh, for cars is the Corvette, right? Uh, but General Motors in general is doing really great. Yeah, the Corvette, of course, is such an obvious one. It's such a major, you know, model in this country. Everyone loves it. It's so old and it's been around for so long. You know, it's got such a storied history. But uh, this one is an all-new vehicle from top to bottom, and they really addressed a lot of the issues that kind of the, you know, earlier ones like interior quality had still, you know, needed to have addressed. So this one really feels like a full-bodied vehicle without any weak spots. Yeah. And uh, while uh, General Motors it has the Stingray, the Impala, and uh, the CTS, and uh, both the Silverado, the Encore, and the Sierra in the Truck of the Year award, but, um, have six vehicles. Ford doesn't have anything, and that's kind of surprising, no? Yeah, you know, this really shows how Ford started earlier on kind of their uh, rebuilding of the company and, and revamping their model line. And now, you know, here we are with, uh, with Ford kind of done and everything's kind of settled in. And GM is still right in the thick of it. They're just introducing so many new cars right now that they're, they've got a lot of candidates for these lists. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I still, I guess the Fusion was there last year. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, they don't have that many new vehicles for this year. But, I mean, still pretty good vehicles in, in, any, in any case. And uh, the rest, if, you go, if we go by country, Japan has the most with Toyota, Lexus, Mazda, Nissan, Infiniti, Subaru, and Acura. And then, then, as we were mentioned before, Korea with the Kia and Hyundai, both with candidates. Uh, I mean, that's pretty strong statement from Korean companies, right? Yeah, another sign that these companies have really recovered, you know, especially the Japanese. They really had to battle uh, the natural, re natural disaster that happened to them with that tsunami a few years ago, and that kind of set things back. But they have fully recovered. They're rolling out new products kind of across the board, uh, the premium brands like Acura and Lexus and Infiniti, and the volume brands like uh, Honda and Toyota. Yeah, so the list uh, now, the short list, uh, has 12 vehicles in the, the Car of the Year Award and then 12 for the truck. So what's the process now? You guys vote uh, one more time, and how does that happen? Yeah, you know, now we're going to vote on the short list, and uh, that'll get us down to three finalists for car and three finalists from truck from the 12 that are on each list right now. And then when we have those three finalists, we'll make one more vote on each of those three, uh, and that'll decide. But none of us will know what the winner is, just like everyone else, until they are announced at the uh, North American International Auto Show in Detroit in uh, early January. Yeah, so from uh, from here to then, more uh, test driving for you, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm in a Range Rover Sport uh, right now. I've got a Subaru Forester coming Uh, I got a Mazda 3 coming, so I'll be driving a lot more of these cars. But, uh, you know, it's a tough job, uh, Javier, but someone's got to do it. You know that. Exactly, yeah. I'll do, it. I'll do my part on this side of the country, <laughs> the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, Carl Bauer from Kelly and KellyBillBook.com. Write for all the information about what, uh, what you're doing over there. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot of great stuff here with the data that we've got. We've just got so much uh, data that we're supplying uh, to the manufacturers, helping them figure out what's going on with all their models out there in the marketplace and what they can do to, to strengthen their model lineup and what's going on against their, the rest of the cars and segments they compete in. There's, you know, the world, they say, is a big data world now where everyone has just got all this information because of all the online activity, and we can really help, uh, help uh, consumers 
figure out what cars they should buy, and we can also help manufacturers figure out what cars they should build for consumers by utilizing this data. Yeah, excellent. So I don't want to take more of your time, so go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get back to my work, Javier, but always good talking to you. Thank you, Carl. Take care. Bye. Bye. Este fue Carl Bauer del Comité de Jurados del Premio al Auto y Camioneta del año 2014, así que estén pendientes que esos premios se entregarán en el Auto Show en Detroit en enero próximo. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. 